Hey guys, Johnny Nerd out here. Uh, I got a video on a question I get asked all the time, which is, can I do the install? I've got two left thumbs. I can't do anything. And you know, it's like, obviously I'm out there, I'm, I'm out here set telling everybody that like, you could convert your bike, you could, ever, anybody can do it. But like, I don't know every single person. It's kind of a blanket statement. So the question is like, hey, can I do it? Short answer is yes, you can do it. Even if you're like super spastic and you can't like slow down and do things, like, like I've had like 10 cups of coffee, you can't do it, slow down. Anybody can do this if you approach it very calmly. Do, do some namastes, do some whatever you gotta do to get your mind calm. At the end of the day, it's just a bicycle. There's like 10 parts to it. Just remember that, this isn't very difficult. What, what happens is what people get into trouble is when they just plow through it. Even when I'm training people on how to do these bikes, you get into trouble when you just plow through it because you don't wanna stop and you don't wanna like figure out the right way to do it. You're like, nah, it's probably this way. And you do it and you end up breaking something, you end up stripping something out, you end up, and you end up, you end up making your life a lot harder. Where we have YouTube, we have forums, any answer that you want, you can have. So the short answer is anybody can do the conversion. If you have the right mindset, if you have a, a, a slow approach. I do a lot of consultations. I do a lot, I field a lot of emails. I probably get 30 to 50 emails a day on just people asking me the various questions. A lot of them are help on their builds. And I would say the majority of them are just because they kind of rushed into something and they didn't kind of lay the track far enough ahead of where they were going. So if you really just take a Saturday, you don't have anything else to do, turn off your phone, lock your door, turn off the lights, put on some Michael McDonald music or whatever, something that's gonna just calm you down. Maybe it's some death metal, some screamo, whatever it is, put it on. Yes, you can do it. However, if you are somebody doesn't have any tools, you just you're not mechanically inclined whatsoever yes there is a small percentage chance that you could go in too far make a bigger mess out of it and then end up paying somebody more than what you would have to start it to fix your stuff and then also do the job properly like if you started it stripped out a bunch of stuff and then brought brought it to me to then fix it and install it i'd have to charge you more because i'd have to fix what you did and then start the install from scratch so there are two schools of thoughts. However, I would say that's maybe 5% of the population. I get a lot of people who are like, hey, I'm, I'm mechanically inclined. I got, you know, mechanics tool set. I'm a machinist. I'm like, this is gonna be a walk in the park because you kind of already have that mindset of just go calmly, go smoothly and approach it just methodically. <laughs> that's all it is. If you approach this methodically, no problem whatsoever. And I've had people that I've guided through step by step either through email just sending pictures back and forth zoom calls i do zoom calls or even over the phone i could usually walk you through the problem whatever problem you're having i've yet to see a bike that i've not been able to convert or fix if somebody brought me a bike that they're like i can't do this i, I still knock on wood have yet to see a bike that could not be converted there's some bikes that shouldn't be converted but that's a totally different topic so I would say men, women who are of the retirement age and twilight years and beyond have been able to do these, even with very minimal background, no, or no background in this whatsoever. There were school teachers who were just like, this sounds like a fun project. I wanna do that and I wanna have the best possible e-bike there is out there for the least amount of money. So it's like that confluence, this is where Building your own e-bike meets best value and best performance. It's the best. The short answer is yes, you can do it. You just really gotta have that kind of calm approach to it and don't plow through it. If you don't know how something goes, don't just plow through it. Take, take a step back, watch a YouTube video, go on a forum, you can even email me, you can book a consultation. There's ways around it. So if you'd wanna not damage your bike, don't rush into it and don't Assume that you know what you're doing if you've never worked on a bike before. But if you take your time and you're methodical about it, you will absolutely be able to do it. And twofold, you'll be able, you'll, you'll gain a new appreciation for your bike, how beautifully simple these things are. It's like they're, they're simple, but they're also complex at the same time. And if you do an install on this, you probably will be putting your hands on every part of the bike, like the, the 10 most important 
parts of the bike and you'll know how to adjust them, how to take them apart, how to service them yourself. So if you ever get caught stranded on the side of the road, you know exactly how to fix it. It's not like a car where oh, my car started shuddering and I broke down in the middle of Idaho and I didn't know how to fix it because there's 30,000 parts on a car. This, there's like 30 parts on a bicycle that you need to know what to check for. And if you do the install yourself, you're probably gonna put your hands and eyes on almost all those parts and you will be a vastly improved bike mechanic just by default, just by doing this yourself. Just remember, bicycles are very simple machines. Don't overthink it, think think smartly. They've really, you know, these bicycles have been around for 130 years or something. They've really mastered them. Even the cheap ones from Walmart, it's still the same exact design, just cheaper parts, but it's all pretty much the same. Within 90% within of each other, whether you got a high-end salsa bike or a low-end Huffy, it's all about the same stuff. For the most part, it's just different quality stuff. All right, hopefully that helps somebody. Hopefully it doesn't get somebody into trouble. You know, if you shouldn't be doing this, don't do it, but you can do it. It's just if you take the time to just calm down and don't plow into it and break stuff and strip the stuff out. That's where you get in trouble. If you strip stuff out, pinch wires, pinch cables, smash stuff together, break pins, just do it slowly, do it calmly, and you can convert your bike. Absolutely. I don't care who you are. All right. Thanks, guys.